All right, hello everybody. I'm doing uh, my uh, prospectus, so here we go. Or here I go. Program of study. Doctor of Management in Organizational Leadership. Problem statement. The problem is unresolved interpersonal conflict that leads to distrust between an organization and employees resulting in, in a dissenting organizational climate. Purpose statement. The propose um the per blah, 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 blah. the purpose of the proposed Delphi study is to gain a consensus of opinion from a panel of organizational ex experts on effective organizational conflict resolution strategies. Research question. What is the consensus of opinion from a panel of experts on effective conflict resolution strategies? Methodology. The proposed study um, will use a qualitative methodology. Qualitative methodology is a research methodology that perceives and understands lived experiences. The methodology is relevant, um, relevant because the proposed statement seeks to understand effective organizational conflict strategies from experts. The qualitative methodology is vital to this study to emphasize the importance of lived experiences through managerial conflict resolution strategies. The lived experiences will demonstrate how consciousness evolves through time to develop sophisticated conflict resolution strategies that adapt to the culture to understand employees' perspectives. The study seeks to explore the thoughts and opinions of organizational experts pertaining to conflict resolution strategies and not a quantitative methodology that seeks a measurement and explains statistical data. The qualitative method in this study seeks wisdom. Design. The design is the classical Delphi method. The classical Delphi method will apply a panel of experts that will provide their experience, their experience, effective, their, blah. okay. The design is, a cl is the classical Delphi method. The classical Delphi method will apply a panel of experts that will provide from their experience effective organizational conflict resolution strategies. The Delphi design is appropriate because it forms a consensus independently and objectively. There is a myriad of information individually on each conflict resolution style. There is a lack of research addressing if each conflict resolution style is effective in an organization. Therefore, the appropriate means to add research to a Doctor of Management for Organizational Leadership is to explore the thoughts and opinions of organizational experts to form a consensus of opinion about the effectiveness of the conflict resolution styles and the direction that organizational experts perceive conflict resolution will be in the future. The classical Delphi method is the design that explores the thoughts and opinions and opinions of organizational experts to comprehend a consensus of opinion about the, effect the effectiveness of current conflict resolution strategies. Framework. The theoretical framework of the, of the study is the conflict resolution theory, the Jungian theory of individuation, the Unified Model of Leadership, uh, Procedural Justice Theory, and um, the Unitive Justice Theory. The theoretical framework of the study will involve understanding the different strategies of conflict resolution and the means by which the strategies achieve results from the thoughts, opinions, and experience of organizational experts. The etymology of conflict breaks down to the word creating an opposition between two forces. The etymology of resolution means separating the parts to find a solution. Therefore, an effective conflict resolution style seeks to heal and transform the opposition into a new bond. 
The combination of these theories provide the theoretical framework by which the study will be guided to perceive the lived experience of managers through interpersonal conflict with employees. Conflict resolution theory. The current types of conflict resolutions resolution are alternative dispute resolution, um, legalistic theory, integrated conflict management systems, systems theory, the strategic theory of conflict management, strategic theory, um, the study emphasizes the study emphasizes incorporating any new conflict resolution styles that organizations have taught experts and self-taught conflict resolution styles if an organization did not teach the importance of conflict resolution. Incorporating current conflict resolution theories and remaining open to new conflict resolution theories ensures that all conflict resolution styles are taken into account by determining effective strategies. The Jungian theory of individuation. The Jungian theory of individuation represents a process through which individuals and society undergo conflict to transcend the ego evolving consciousness. The Rosarium Philosophic Forum provides an outline of conflict resolution that leads to a transformation that begins before the opposition of the conflict occurs. Um, the theory of individuation ends with a resolution that brings transformational change and an enlightened consciousness. Conflict resolution does not come to a solution unless a transformation occurs. If conflict resolution does not transform, then the process will begin again until the two opposing sides coalesce. Therefore, um, Jungian theory of individuation provides evidence for the outcome of an effective conflict resolution strategy which transforms the two opposites into something new. The unified model of leadership. <clears throat> the unified model of leadership associates the stage of leadership development through the perceived leader's ability to manage the conflict of individual and collective consciousness transformation. The stages of leadership are egocentric, reactive, creative, um, integral, and unitive. The stages of leadership follow the path of uh, the Jungian theory of individuation. The process of the Jungian theory of individuation is a process that begins with the ego, and it reacts to the oppositional force. Then the ego has the ability to choose a creative path that leads to integration and, and finally, oneness which would be unitive. Um, therefore, the stage of development in leadership depends on the perspective that the manager will use within the conflict resolution theories to resolve the conflict. Organizational experts will perceive each conflict resolution theory differently depending on the stage of their leadership development. Procedural justice theory, the Procedural justice theory provides a fair and reasonable solution to conflict resolution that impacts employees on a positive level. The importance of solving conflict effectively will bring about a transformational process that brings employees and an organization together. An organization can choose to avoid conflict or resolving the conflict in a negative um, manner. Avoiding conflict and, neg um, and negatively resolving conflict destroys the, um, in, um, the integrity of an organization, which leads to the loss of money in the hiring process or lawsuits. Learning effective conflict resolution strategies through understanding procedural justice theory will save organizations money while bringing employees closer to an organization, reducing employee turnover. Unitive Justice Theory. The Unitive Justice Theory is a compassionate form of resolving conflicts through understanding and not egotistical punitive justice resolutions. 
The unit of justice theory suggests that all forms of conflict resolution seek to continue the cycle of punishment by punishing the punisher. The unit of justice theory seeks to understand the pain and resolve conflicts through understanding and compassion. The most effective conflict resolution strategies will mend and unite instead of continuing the, cy the cyclic path of punishment. The significance of the study. The significance. I need another drink. The significance of the study is to understand the methods that organizational experts implement to resolve conflict. The study is unique because most companies rely on external and not internal strategies to manage conflict within their organizations. The focus of the study is an introspection of the internal strategies of conflict resolution to explore the uh, effective um, to explore the effect the effect that the organization um, organization strategize to solve interpersonal conflict. The study will advance the knowledge of research in organizational leadership by exploring the thoughts and opinions of organizational experts by comprehending the experience and effectiveness of their strategies. Boom. All right, so that is my prospectus, and um, that's not that's just the final version so far. Um, I still like have to write a lot more. Um, and that's just like one tiny little like beginning chapter of this whole thing that I'm writing. If you want to understand kind of like what it is to be a doctor or involvement in doctor classes, this kind of like is a little beginning to what most of your work will be doing. Um, so I hope that that either I, you know, if, if you love what you're doing, go for it. Go for it. You know, uh, I love what I'm doing, and I'm doing this because, to me, conflict, especially if you look at the world, organizations, I mean, one of the main things that we do is we avoid conflict. And what does that do? Just creates more conflict. What's the other thing that we do? When somebody does something, it hurts. You know, it's in... Um, no matter which way, you know, I mean, whether it's accidental or purpose, it still hurts. And if it's, we believe on purpose, sometimes we strike back. And, um, or use, use it by some other means. I mean, um, most of, actually, I'd probably say most, if not all of our forms of punishment are punitive. And really, you know, when you start analyzing things like this, you know, what has punitive punishment brought us? I mean, nothing good. I mean, for example, you take the riots. Okay, so the riots are about conception of um, you know, basically um, racism within the, um, the whole justice system, or perceived racism through the whole justice system. And so, because that's what they see and everything like that, their answer in that form and everything, um, and I'm not saying all, I'm just trying to, to combine something here to make something make sense, but they're returning the same thing that's being done to them. So, their answer to solve the conflict is to continue the punishment. You know, burn stores, loot places. You know, people must be punished for the pain that I felt. That doesn't get you anywhere. Revenge doesn't solve anything. Revenge is not justice. I mean, it just creates more. When, when will you win the cycle? I mean, how much farther does it have to go to where your eyes open up and you're like, crap, I made a mistake and I can't take it back. You know, we fail to understand each other very, very deeply. And because of that, we avoid conflict. And what are we doing right now? 
with the whole pandemic thing. We're masking, we're, and yeah, I don't very much believe in masking, but if you think about the actions that you're taking, you're locking yourself in, you're masking, you're doing all this stuff to avoid humans. So what are you doing more? You're avoiding more conflict. You don't want to deal with it. You're trying to block it. You got physical barrier. You got it's all it's all in your head. So what we have to do is we have to start facing conflict, but we just can't go out and rage. No, we got to sit down and talk. Everything that everybody's doing right now, they're not thinking. They're just reacting. They got that reactive leadership. You know, the the few who uh, could provide a creative solution are trying to use those creative solutions for dominance and control. You know, the the ones trying to integrate society are, are still doing it from the ego way. What you need is you need somebody to resolve to take away that ego because. The more you pursue your wants, the more you pursue anything. It's just, I mean, what's the point of collecting something? We are all going to die. And you're going to leave this place. All your possessions are going to go away. So in some way, some way, some way, how? In some way, we need to, you know, start realizing these things. You know, because life is more important than possessions, than anything, because life evolves, and the more it evolves, the better it can get, but the more you destroy it, the more you're just building boundaries of trying to keep people from coming inside you. So, that is kind of roughly what this is all about, but, um... And all that stuff I just said just came off the top of my head. So I'm going to leave it there before I start, like, a going too deep and things like that. And I start talking about whatever it is that I talk about. So, have a good one. Um, and, uh, bye.